okay. <laughs> May have to excuse me. I know it's been windy the last few days and it just got me a coffin today. So hopefully I'll be okay. My two sisters are coming out here in October. And I thought, well, you know, I'm going to crochet them some little grocery bags. I got my one sister this, a little red one. And they're strong. They stretch and it holds a lot. I'm thinking about, I had crocheted these little hearts. And I may put a couple on the front of her bag. My other sister, I did one of these type of bags, grocery bags. I believe her color, her favorite color is blue. And, of course, I didn't have enough of, I just had to mix it, use what I had. You know, I'm all about trying to use up uh, all the stuff I have. My eyes are a bit watery like crazy today. I seen a big old uh, rain cloud out there, so it's fixing to rain or do something. But I also have these little mushrooms. I don't know if I showed you these before that I crocheted. Let's see if I got the little underside. <laughs> they came out cute. And I'm thinking about putting them on a little keychain. Putting them on my Etsy store. I've got another one. I made three of them. Yeah, they came out really cute. So I like those. You know, one's short, one's tall. <laughs> I just put up a video, well, it'll go out tomorrow, of some of the stuff I've made for 4th of July, other bracelets I've made. Now, I like, this is my preference. I don't know if it's anybody else's preference. I made like a six-layer bracelet because when I wear a bracelet, I don't, I just have a little one on now. My sister gave me this. It's probably been three years at this time, and I've I wear it every day because she gave it to me. <laughs> when I do wear bracelets, I'll stack them. And I love beaded bracelets, coordinate with the colors I have on or whatever. So I have made quite a few little bracelets that, you, that look like there's more than one bracelet. I made some earrings. And I got a few items that, with the red, white, and blue theme for 4th of July, or if you just like red, white, and blue, you know. I just wanted to do a little update. I mean, uh, I don't think my sisters watch my YouTube channel, so I don't think I'll have to worry about them finding out what I, I made for them. But I want to put like little, uh, maybe those little facial masks, the little paper ones. Just a little goodie bag for them, fill it up with some stuff. So we'll see. I got until October to get some cool little things. I did finish my bracelet, my uh, monster bracelet, Frankenstein. And I'll go get it and show you. I found these other little ends that have teeth on them and then you smash it down. They're supposed to be for if you make a necklace with ribbon or bracelet. But here it is, my little Frankenstein bracelet. <laughs> do, 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 do. And I just got to put a little clasp so I can hook it together. It's not perfect. It's the first one that I made. So it took me some time to make it, a little aggravation, but it was a learning process. I had never done it before. You know, like I said, I got fat little fingers that I don't know why I do stuff like this because these are little tiny beads. <laughs> but it was fun. It feels nice. I love the way beads feel all together like that. So... I like to make the vampire next because I like purple and I think it has purple and green maybe. I love those colors together. I will try to make a better one. I, I know how to do it, what my mistakes were. So let me get back to watching a little bit of my, uh, I, they always say your murder shows, but the first 48 I just like them. <laughs>
All right. I have decided that every time I sit down, I should be crocheting. I am crocheting. I got this little fingerling. Get it in focus. It's a little fingerling yarn. So it's kind of thin. The pattern I got, let me get it here, is it's supposed to be a wrap, but it's going to be like a scarf. I'm going to just make it as a scarf. It's real light, so I mean, you could use this, you go to the theater, or just a little cool night. I'm going to make it long enough where it could wrap around your neck several times. It'd be kind of a bulky thing. So yeah, I think this, uh, so it's like little rolls. Almost like a, uh, let me get it here. Almost like a little star pattern or seashell type pattern. And the yarn is like a real pale blue. It's kind of hard to tell here. Let's see, it's a pale blue. And that's what I'm working on. I've got the pattern down pat. And so I could just watch TV and crochet this. And no time it'll be done. All right.